Ladies and gentlemen, last year when I started this whole NHL journey, I came across a goal that I eventually wanted to complete, and that was to maybe visit Canada this year. But something came along and decided to, you know, fuck up the whole world. Something known as the COVID. Look, I can go, okay? But thankfully, Microsoft Flight Simulator have brought out this game where you can literally go anywhere in the world and see anything you want, literally in, in the palm of your hand. So today, like you can see in the title and the thumbnail, we're going to be going and visiting six different NHL arenas in Canada. I am actually really excited to see this. I haven't ever seen anywhere in Canada before. Ever. Is that a shock to you? Like, I have never seen a photo. That's a lie. I've seen the Niagara Falls. Uh, two lies. I've seen the Niagara Falls and I've seen the big building with the, the, the disc in it. Is it in Toronto? I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited to see what this country has to offer. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be visiting six different NHL arenas in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I'm excited to see this. I've got my hat. I'm not going to be a great pilot, by the way. Just putting it out there. Not only am I going to be seeing the arenas, I want to kind of see the country as a whole as well. So if you see anywhere what I don't maybe notice, leave a comment down below. Or if you are from any of the places we visit, again, leave a comment down below. I might make this into like a mini series depending on how well it does. If it does well, I could go down and I could visit NHL arenas in America and I could expand the whole thing and start doing more like this. It would be really cool. I'm genuinely wildly excited to do this, okay? I'm gonna put my pilot hat on and uh, we're gonna get this baby off the motherfucking ground, baby. So let me get my pilot's hat on because I need to be in touch with the control tower to make sure I know where I'm going, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, I'm not a pilot, so I don't know where I need to be going. I don't know the direction. So on this screen, you can kind of see a little bit I've got satellite imagery up. This is how much work I've put in. So, if my calculations are correct, I need to be flying, uh, let me just pop that out. I need to be flying northeast. Here we go. By the way, I have live weather on. So the weather we're seeing in game right now is the weather that's currently in Edmonton. Which, the game's mad, all right? I've played this a little bit, as you can tell by my export takeoff, and the things in this game is baffling. Like, it is so beautiful. Look at it. Let me just get our right direction. So in Edmonton, in real life, this should be probably something similar to what the weather is currently. I don't really know what the time is there. Probably maybe very early, but doesn't by the sun. Yes. I'm not just visiting these places, boys and girls, okay? I wanted to learn a little bit about it too. Let me just take the power off just to... I didn't even introduce where we're flying to first. Jesus, good God. We're going to see the Edmonton Oilers Arena, which is called Rogers Place. Constructed in March 2004, the building officially opened on September 8th, 2016. So it's only been open for not even four years. The arena has a seating capacity of 18,500 and as a hockey venue and 20,734 as a concert venue. That's obviously because there's no floor space. I'm excited. Look at this place. Look at... This is what I mean. Guys, look how beautiful this game is. It's actually incredible. Beautiful little sunrise over there. So I'm going to say it might be like very early, judging where that sun is. It's like 4, it's like 4.20 p.m. here. I don't know the time zone that Edmonton is in. I have a feeling it's like central time. Would that be correct? I don't know. 7.30 in the morning. I don't want to, like, bore you guys by just, you know, flying the whole way to different places. So I might cut here or I might cut there, just depending on what I'm doing, if there's anything to see. But obviously, for me, this is the first time I'm seeing any of this. And right, and right now, it looks like a lot like Ireland, okay? Apart from that's a city, isn't it? Oh my god, it sounds like such a flipping... Have I been hiding on the road? Oh my god, a city! I've been to the city before, boys and girls, alright? Um, I think I'm going the wrong way. I think I need to be down there. Put on the flaps so I can lose a bit of speed and some altitude. I actually don't know whether that's what that means, but... Um, I think it means you can lose altitude without gaining too much speed. Let's just, let's just put it on. 
So this is the Rogers Arena. I had like a, a photo up of it. It's kind of big. It has a, like a funky shape to it. So I don't think we're going to be able to miss it. Look at the detail in this game. It's actually insane. So if you guys are from this area, I don't know. Maybe you can see where you live or... Because that would be cool. Like the game is so, so cool. Look how beautiful it is. You can literally see individual houses and individual buildings. Look at it! Okay, so it should be around here somewhere. Uh, can anybody see it? Am I on the right spot? Have to be. Okay, so I'll try and uh, fly back around. Um, let me just kind of zoom out a little bit so I can see more. Alright. So it should be like down here somewhere. Why do I have a feeling that this landfill site right below us is it? Is anybody else getting that vibe? It hasn't even been built! God damn it, brother! Oh shit! Not a great start. Wait, I'll go back around because for some reason I do not feel like that is it. I think that's the golf course over on the other side of the river. And I'm just looking, spanning by my eyes. If I go completely left from the golf course west, Roger's place should be like in line with it, which should be more down here. But why is there so many trees? Is there this many trees in real life? Alright, so I'll go and wrap around. This is the golf course below me? Yeah, okay. So the map shows that it should be like... I'll just follow this road. i follow this road and if I go perpendicular with it... I should get there. Like, just straight across. Straight, straight, straight. It should be here. We've been done. We've been absolutely done, boys and girls. I don't know, maybe it is there and I have missed it. So, in the comments below, if you guys have spotted it and I've just missed it, please, for the love of God, let me know. why. What is this building, this funky looking thing? Is this it? Surely not. What if I just, you know, get really down close and personal? Wait, is that the museum with the triangular roofs? Because if it is, that means it should be close to it. Edmonton Oilers, Microsoft Flight Simulator has let you down. I don't know, maybe, maybe it hasn't. Maybe I'm just completely blind. And because I don't know what the building looks like, I just can't see it. This place looks like Jurassic Park a little bit with buildings. But still very beautiful. We're going to go and um, we're going to visit the Centre Bell, which is the home of the Montreal Canadiens. So I'm going to take the plane there, I'm not flying the whole way, I'm going to go back to the menu and load up in a different airport because it will literally take me the same amount of time to get there as it would in real life. I'm going to go ahead and skip to that part and I hope to God the stadium is there, or the arena is there, okay? We are on our way to see the Montreal Canadiens Arena, the Bell Centre, or the Centre Bell. When I was doing research on it, it either told me it was the Centre Bell or the Bell Centre. I don't know. Either way, that's where we are on our way, on our way to. This place is fucking green. Jesus. 
On to Quack! The Bell Centre, formerly known as the Molson Centre, is a multi-purpose arena in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It opened on March 16, 1996, after nearly three years under construction. It is best known as the home of the National Hockey League's Montreal Canadiens ice hockey team, and it has the largest arena capacity to regularly host an NHL team with a capacity of 21,302. So, um, I feel like this is the direction we're going in. I, 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 kinda. Again, this is the first time I've seen any of this, alright, so... This is, this is all new to me. I know I didn't see the last arena, but even taking in the sights of where a lot of you guys live is pretty, pretty cool. Like, I would never, ever, ever get to see any of this if it wasn't for this game, so... Again, you can forgive, you know, maybe not having down to the very last detail of certain buildings and certain places. Because look at this, from here it looks absolutely incredible. Between those, where that lake gets fatter in the middle, it's between those little two islands, I think, or just below. Um, so this is the St. Lawrence River, is that correct? St. Lawrence River. And Centre Bell should be to the right of this, this big bushy area, whatever it is, whatever it's called, I don't know. So it should be, again! This building might just look like a regular building to me. Oh, wow. So, I need you guys to maybe comment down below where it was or if you've seen it. Because I might not, again, because all these buildings just look the same to me from up here, so... You'll have to forgive me. So, it is up towards the city more, which is probably going to make it harder to see. Um, but we'll try our best. I'm seeing like this. Uh, where the harbour starts, where that big point is. Um, it's to the left of it, kind of in between, but just before, if that makes sense to anybody. But again, from the sky, these buildings all look the same. So if you guys could maybe lend a hand, and maybe tell me if you spotted it. Chat, this is it, right here. Isn't it? It is. I am 100% sure it is. The center bell. That's it. I'm 100% sure. and 85% sure that that's the center bell. And the reason I know it is because I just looked on Google and I know on the roof it has a big circular thing in that corner. No, that's it. This is it right here. There she is, my brothers and my sisters. Beautiful. Yeah, that was the same building, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It wasn't the same building, but that's it. it had the big red stripe across the roof. Love it. Okay, now that we've seen that, let me just, let me just fly around the city and let me give you a beautiful montage of where maybe some of you guys live. Vancouver and we are going to see the Rogers Arena which is home uh, to the Vancouver Canucks capacity of 18,910 what runway am I on right now good lord give her full power because I don't know how long or short this flipping runway is it's a field good god Okay. Where I don't know where I've taken off from, chat. I've taken off from someone's back garden. Oh, surrounded by it. Very, very scenic. So yes, Vancouver Canucks, Rogers Arena, capacity of 18,910. I know I need to fly north. By the way, chat, I'm flying from airports to the arena. I'm not skipping anything. All right. Apart from, you know, when I'm going to the next arena. That's about it. Because if I was to fly city to city, it would genuinely take the same amount of time that it would in real life. It is home to the Vancouver Canucks. Canucks, Canucks, Canucks of the NHL and the Vancouver Warriors of the National Lacrosse League. The arena also hosted the ice hockey events at the 2010 Winter Olympics. The name of the arena temporarily became, temporarily became Canada Hockey Place during the Olympics. It was previously home to the Vancouver Grizzlies of the NBA from 1995 until 2001. The Grizzlies spent six seasons in Vancouver before relocating to Memphis, Tennessee for the 2001-2002 season. So on my little GPS, um, I can see there is icons for mountains and I'm going to assume that it's the ones up to our right. 
So I'm just going to keep pulling up into this guy. And again, chat, this is the live weather that's currently in Vancouver, um, which is obviously incredible. Like, just look at this game. So, um, again, like I said at the start of this video, I am seeing a lot of this stuff for the first time, most of it. I didn't realize Canada was so... Fieldy? What is that hole in the ground? The blue hell going down there, brother! I do not know how long this flight is going to be. So I'm just going to skip most of the, the bull. I'm just going to get close to there. Until I start seeing stuff, and then... I'll come back in. Okay, boys, so, like, uh, we're coming up on the city of Seattle, which is around this area somewhere. Um, I think it's literally it directly below us, so I'm gonna, like, plummet toward the Earth. Nobody, if you're ever trying to be a pilot, nobody ever lose altitude like this, because you will die an awful death, okay? This is not how you lose altitude in an airplane from 40,000 feet. The wings would be ripped off, I would be shot out the back window, away up into that sky, and I'd land down back towards that f field of an airport where I took off from half an hour ago. Okay? Don't ever lose altitude like that, please. So there's grey airfield below us. I feel like maybe down there would have been more, a more reasonable place to take off. But you know, we got to see the sights, we got to see all different parts. Uh, but it would have been a lot quicker, but you know, you can't have it all. This place is so beautiful, honestly. This is so beautiful. I th that might be Seattle over to the right, so I'm going to whip it. I wonder if a pilot's ever used that term. I'm going to whip it over to the right so we can pass the big buildings. I think he might be sacked if he said that. This might not even be Seattle yet, and I'm starting to believe that it maybe isn't. A couple of baseball uh, pitches down below us. One, two, three, four. Yo, this is so cool. This is unreal. I absolutely love this. Again, this video is probably going to take me like five hours to make, but it's definitely worth it. I mean, look at this. There's another baseball arena over to the left. A lot of baseball arenas. I don't feel like this is Seattle. I, I just... I don't... This looks like a very industrial kind of area. Maybe Seattle... Maybe it's part of Seattle. Maybe Seattle is just this big. I don't know. Okay, again, I'm just a, I'm just a visitor. All right, I'm, I'm a visitor and also in control of a jet. Not a great combination, but... Wax orchards? What the hell is that? Okay, guys, I'm just whipping it over towards... Seattle Tacoma International. Okay, so that's an airport that... Again... Probably should have took off from. Again, guys, if the game seems a little jumpy... Just ignore it. It's just render in the world. You can kind of forgive it. Oh, wow. Look at that stadium. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, very nice. This is Seattle. This is the building I seen. The Space Needle, not Toronto. Yo, that is mad. You guys, I don't know about you, but for anybody that lives in these types of areas, do not take these places for granted. You, you live in beautiful places. You live in beautiful, beautiful places. I'm about to crash. Get a bit power on and fire on up to Vancouver. Jesus, this has been a flight. So guys, I did go ahead and cheat a little bit, I'm gonna be honest, I uh, I took off from a different airport, Abbotsford, which is probably the one I should have took off from in the first place, but again, we got to see Seattle, I think, and um, we got to see a whole lot of different, you know, scenic things that I would have never seen again, so I appreciate that, but it was just gonna take like another f kind of 45 minutes, and it would have been easier to just go back to the menu and take off from somewhere else, so here I am, uh, Again, this is a lot closer to where I want to be. Where I need to be is just at the end over over here. Actually, to be honest, I can't even remember. Rogers Arena. 
I was about to say, I can't even remember where I'm going. I've been flying for that long. Can everybody just take a look at this sun, sunrise over here? Good God. Beautiful. Again, if you live here, ladies and gentlemen, do not take it for granted, ever. Do you live in a beautiful part of the world? You know, I live in Ireland, all right? This place is just flat with fields and fucking cows everywhere. So just let me have this moment, okay? Okay, I think I need to swing it a little bit left. Um, it's going to be over towards those little islands. I think. I feel like I'm wrong. I am wrong. It's more to the north. Google Maps are a mess. You know, no cap, if I had it taken off from this airport, I probably would have completed uh, filming this entire video by now. <laughs> Good to see things in the sky, but I also want to kind of get up a little bit closer, a little bit lower to the ground, just to see like certain buildings and how tall buildings are. I want to see the 3D of it, you know? I don't just want to be flying over things, I want to be around it, I want to be in between it. I want to see everything! I chose to change the time to like 6 in the morning, so we'll have this like nice sunset. I feel like that was a good choice. Sunrise, even, sorry. Okay, so... It should be... around here. I have a feeling that's it. Oh my days. Look at the size of this place. I feel like BC BC Arena is the big one. And Rogers Arena is the one behind it. Oh my god. Look at that, boys and girls. Ooh, shit. That is incredible. You know what? You know what we're gonna do right now? I'm gonna I'm gonna change the time. Just ever so slightly. Just so we have a nice sunrise. Look at that. There we go. Is that a big ship over there too? Okay, it's just changed. Alright. I have been flying here for about an hour, I think. That is so cool. Because I don't know, so are you able to tell me what the BC arena is used for or what is inside it? And this is Young Rogers Arena right here. Yo, that is so cool. That is incredible. Mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, I'm gonna whip it into the sky. I'm gonna change the time to night time so we get the lights of the city and I'll give you a nice montage and then we'll move on to the next one. I call November rain. Like a man without a name Like a song without a refrain It's how I feel without you Like a door without a key Like a way without the sea to see the Toronto Maple Leaf Stadium, the Scotia Bank Arena. Capacity of 19,800. Let me just get my bearings to make sure I'm going in the right goddamn direction. Scotia Bank, formerly Air Canada Centre, is a multi purpose arena located on Bay Street in the South Core District of downtown Toronto. It is home of the Toronto Maple Leafs of the National Hockey League, the Toronto Raptors of the National Basketball Association, and the Toronto Rock of the National Lacrosse League. In addition, the minor league at the Toronto Mar Marlisles of the American Hockey League and the Raptors 905 of the NBA G League play occasional games at the arena. The arena was previously home to the Toronto Phantoms of the Ar Arena Football League during their brief existence. Oh shit. F in the chat for Toronto Phantoms. Okay, this is going to be a much quicker flight than the last one. I don't know how well I've cut it down, but Jesus, it took me... It took a long time to get to where I wanted to go, but thankfully we're on our way and this is, is this looks like it's going to be a lot easier to find and a lot easier to approach. I was in the mountains, I, I didn't know where I was. But this is the Scotia Bank Arena, which should just be on the coast in this little kind of like island. What is that pointy flipping building to the sky? Toronto City Centre. That does not look like the city centre down there, bro. I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, shit. Okay. Yo, Toronto looking hella nice, my brothers! Yo, these cities are incredible. Again, I sound like such a bot. Like, uh, uh, what is this building? What is this? I feel like that's also the... 
Scotty at Bank Arena? Is it? I feel like it is. Hold on, let me just drive out here and just whip it back around again. Good God. Okay, guys, I need to know what this building is. What is this big tall thing? Jesus, good Lord, are you allowed to go in that? Imagine landing on top of that. Ooh, but anyway, Toronto Maple Leafs uh, Arena, guys, is literally right down below us now. The, the Scotia Bank Arena, that's the one. And I just know that because it has the two red symbols on top of it. Pretty damn cool. But what is that big bubble building that is beside that pointy building? Again, I sound like such a bot. I know nothing. I know nothing. Toronto is very, very nice. Again, you guys better not take any of this for granted. You live in a beautiful place. Look at this. Jesus Christ. That is honestly incredible. It's so nice. What is this building right below us now? I don't know what it is. But that is pretty cool looking. Okay, chat, I'm gonna switch it to the sunrise. Give us a nice, kind of warm looking feeling. And I give you a little montage of Toronto. <laughs> same page i didn't mean for this to be a two-part video okay this just kind of came about when i got to the point where i realized that this video might be over an hour long and i just didn't think that you guys would want to watch me for an hour so i asked you guys in the poll if you want me to split this into two parts and not surprisingly so you voted for two parts so um yeah this is the end of part one hope you enjoyed it by the way part two will be tomorrow do you guys want me to do the NHL arenas in the US? This was something that I kind of planned on asking you after the video was out. But I'll just ask you now, comment down below and just say something like, yeah, I do the US. That's all I need. And if you guys want me to do that, uh, then I'll do it. Creating this video, I had so much fun. I had so much fun seeing everything and obviously seeing the countries as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Smash like for part two. And uh, let's aim for a goal of 902 likes. Probably not get that. But here we are, okay? Thanks for watching. If you got to this, this point, Jesus, you, you, you're a hero. All right? I love yous. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in a bit.